After ranging sideways for just two days, Bitcoin decided to drop down today. Are we going to retest the $43,000 level of support? Gold is also going down and the dollar recovered just a bit this week. But today we also decided to hear a few voices from the Telegram group and what they requested. So probably just a bit of on-chain analysis and also a pattern that we found uh, similar to what's happening right now, but from September and October 2020. This and much more coming your way. Stay tuned. The podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today is Friday, so we are really close to the close of the weekly candle. And let's see how that goes. Today has been a very volatile day for Bitcoin. We have been going down for the last two hours, two, three hours, and still very volatile while I'm recording this video. However, today we also decided to hear some of the requests on the Telegram group. So if you are not on the Telegram group, let me just put it here on screen for you guys. Join the Telegram group and join us there to discuss Bitcoin and of course many other things of the same nature about the markets and other stuff of course. Even personal stuff you want to discuss there, it's really okay, no problem with that. So join us on the Telegram group, the URL you have to use to join it is on the screen and come discuss Bitcoin with us and other stuff also. So. Today we are going to see what's happening with Bitcoin, but I also decided to hear a few requests from this group, from the people that follow the channel and also discuss it uh, every day there with us on Telegram. And today there are two requests that I would like to address. One of the is a bit of on-chain analysis, let's see where we stand right now. And the other one is a pattern from 2020. But let's go to the charts and see what's happening just for a very quick move over the charts before we go to those requests. So right now on the price to time model, there is nothing really different from previous videos, except that we are Bitcoin price action attempted to break down the 20 period SMA. Don't forget this is a logarithmic chart. So the SMA here will look a bit different from the other charts, uh, but we already went below the 20 period SMA here, the green line on screen and we recovered already so we are now above it again so let's see how that goes but regarding the price to time model at this point there is really nothing really different from past videos so let's just move on and see what's happening here uh, let's just take a look at the weekly chart the weekly chart continues to look good despite this big drop that we had but why do i say it looks good because the week left behind did not even cross the 20 period SMA. And don't forget, this is the linear chart. So the 20 week, uh, the 20 period SMA, which is a weekly one, is now just going sideways. And we did not even touch it or cross it to the downside. So that's one of the really good signs that I see on the weekly chart. Another good sign is that as soon as we start to replace these big drops down here from May, the uh, this moving average will start to go up and this is of course probably going to happen in three weeks time so these two are still pointing down this is the prediction of the moving average those dots but the third one is already going sideways comparing to the previous one and probably we will see a move to the upside before there is a cross with the 50 period sma so if that happens this is also a good sign a good sign that the bulls are still in control and despite some retracements along the way we are still in a bull market also we have the RSI here pointing down because of this current week, but I have the trend line on the RSI that has been supporting the price for a long time already, and we are still away from it. So there is a bit more of downside that we could have on the RSI before moving back up again, being supported by this trend line. The MACD that was flipping to the bullish side now is going sideways. So this one is neutral. We had already three green bars, but now we are again having a gap with a smaller bar here for this week and it's light green also the blue line and the orange line just going sideways in parallel mode so nothing really important to say here let's see what the daily chart is showing us so the daily chart 
So the current candle has a sell signal. This is uh, one of the important remarks I wanted to make. We have a sell signal here today on this daily, uh, daily candle, but we have been crossing already. We crossed already to the downside of the 50 period SMA once. And let's see if the 50 period SMA continues to hold the price, which would be a very, very good sign also of bullishness here on the daily chart. Uh, however, we are on a one to four candle correction here. So probably we could see a reversal soon unless the support is broken and we probably could go down again to retest the 43,000 or 42,000. So let's see what uh, that um, let's see what happens uh, in the next few days. We have really good support around the 42 and 300, which was this swing high here. And we also have support around all those levels to the 43 and a half, also the 50 period SMA. So there's a lot of support there. Let's see what happens. However, if this support is broken, the probability is that we might see the $40,000 level of support, the 100 period SMA and the VPVR also has this uh, important uh, level here as support. So let's see how that evolves. But for now, I believe that we could be held here around the 50 period SMA, around the $43,000, $44,000 of support. Uh, and this candle could hold here until tomorrow. We might see a reversal. But no one knows what really is going to happen. This is the dumb zone, as you guys know. So, um, there's 50-50 probabilities of going to the downside or going to the upside. So right now, my recommendation is don't gamble, don't go in or don't go out, don't do anything. The key word right now is patience and we have to see how the weekly closes will occur. We have to see those levels and how the weekly candles will close. That's a really important thing. I, I, I believe that we could see a bit more of downside but however, the supports around the 43 to 42 are very, very good. So let's see what happens there. And let me just take a quick look at the four hour. So the four hour is going, is retesting again this level here. Uh, this is around the 45,000. And we have this line of support of the uh, MRI indicator around the 44,000. So these are all levels that we could retest. So let's see how that goes. Um, we went below, much lower than that, around the $42,800, $42,800, when we had that big volatile move to the downside here. Then we had this uh, long accumulation. So these are, are all four-hour candles. So this has been a few days already. And we had this long accumulation here. We are now below it, probably retesting these levels. But the MRI indicator has a big support around here. So let's see how that evolves. The BitMEX funding rate is, however, very neutral. So there is no indications here of the bulls or the bears going long or short. So let's see how that goes. Also, we had really good signs of flipping here to the upside on the MACD, but now we are just going sideways, completely neutral. And the RSI is below the trend line that supports the price on the weekly and the daily and is again going to retest the um, the oversold territory probably. So let's see one more retest to the downside and I believe that we will be in for a reversal at least in the short term. So that's the outlook for the four hours chart. Let's, uh, let's take a look right now at the um, on chain that was requested. So some people requested me to check some charts that I have been showing here. So there is nothing really, really different from uh, the last time I checked the on chain analysis, because as you guys know, the on chain analysis is something that has to be uh, analyzed in very long periods of time. So there is no really big difference from past week or two weeks ago. This has to be looked at in six months time frames or three months time frames at least but in any case as people requested me to just have an update about the on-chain analysis let's go and see what's happening so one of the charts is a stock to flow model of course and this continues to be on the green here so it means that we are in for a continuation to the upside and i believe that according to the price to time model also this area here which we had this big drop from the all-time high to around $28,000. This corresponds to practically the same move we had around here 
in the 2017 cycle. And then after that big correction we had here, we had the continuation to the upside, even going above the red line, which is the average price of the stock to flow model and going above it. And let's see how that goes. Uh, we are already close to the end of the year. This line here, this vertical line is 2022. So of course, if we are expecting to have a top for this bull cycle still this year, I guess these big retracements we are seeing now of 20% are just delaying that move. So let's see what, how that goes. Uh, I probably would not bet uh, really, really high amounts if, uh, you know, that we could have um, a cycle top before the start of 2022. But however, anything is possible still. So let's see how that goes. One thing I know for sure, after being down here in these green levels, as you guys can see here for past moves, the only thing that happens is a continuation to the upside into the red levels, which means that we could have tops. So cycle tops, as you guys know, we have been in the very same levels around here. Uh, so this corresponds to uh, June of 2012. After that, we had our first top here. Then we came back to the mean and then another top. Then we came back down to the greens. This one did not go to those levels that we saw this year, but this one did. And after that, this was the 2017 uh, cycle top. So we started to go up. Then we had that big correction that I already showed you guys here. And this corresponds exactly to the same uh, kind of pattern that I believe is now happening in larger scale. So we had the start of going up. We again retested those levels here at the stock to flow model. So it's very possible that we can still see a drop here before the continuation to the upside. Let's see how that goes. But one thing I'm sure, if you bought down here or if you continue to buy just for a bit more in time, I'm sure that next move will be into the red area and higher levels close to a cycle top. So the continuation of this, I believe, will be to cross the average line here, the red average line of the price of Bitcoin, and uh, go above that average line to form a cycle top for now. And let's see how that goes. But I believe this is the next move. Of course, this will take a long time. This is not something that will happen tomorrow or next week. As you guys know, on-chain analysis doesn't work that way. So this is for larger periods of time. So the key word, again, is patience. We have to be patient. You have to take the opportunities. And the big opportunity was right here. Uh, by the end of July, when we went to, the, to those levels of $28,000, this was the, your big opportunity, and now we just have to wait to see if we are going back down again to retest it like we did here on the 2017 cycle, or if we are going to continue to the upside in direction of those red levels. One thing I know, if we go back down to retest again these levels here, the, um, you know, this is the difference from, from the average line. If we go back down here to retest it again, probably the top will not, not occur uh, in 2021 already so i believe that if that happens we could postpone the, the cycle top to the year of 2022 and that that will mean that we have to reevaluate what's happening but let's take a look at another chart and this is one of the ones i like on on-chain analysis uh, as you guys know this r hodl ratio gives you the really good areas to go into the market and the really good areas to get out of the market. The good areas to get in are these green levels here. Uh, this is the R hodl ratio line, the red line. The blue line is the price of Bitcoin. And these, of course, are the levels that we are right now. So there is a good comparison here. If you look at the 2013 cycle, we had this big move up. And then we had this big correction, which was in price terms, 75% of the price of Bitcoin correction. And then we had the continuation to the upside. So we had a double top cycle and with this local top in the price action, which is here. And then the final and second top around here, which corresponded to even going above the red level to really overbought territory. So this was a big warning that and uh, something was going to uh, get flipped and the price action, of course, started to come back down. So the R hodl here uh, is showing that we had also this move up and then we had the same kind of correction. And guys, look at the levels. Look at the levels. So we are here. This was the level 
of this year, the 2021 cycle. Just look at that. If you go back to 2013, it's just a bit higher than the level that we went around the 64,000 all time high. And then we had the same kind of correction and look at the level uh, just a bit distant from the level of this year. So both levels in 2021 are just a bit lower as compared to the 2013. But in terms of you know, general outlook, they correspond to the same area, the same distance, and then we started to go up again. So this is one of the things that make me believe we are still going up into that red zone here, this red area, and that will correspond to the cycle, to the bull cycle top. So I like to look at this chart every time I start to have any doubts about what's going to happen. So I believe that this our HODL line ratio here is still going up into the red zone and that will mark of course the very uh, proximity of the cycle top so this is what i had for you uh today about the on-chain analysis i just look like to look at these two charts here and they both tell me that we are still in for a bull market continuation and probably we will see higher levels on the r hodl and also on the stock to flow model so that's it for the on-chain analysis for today. Now, I wanted to show you also one of the patterns that um, someone asked me. So let me just go here, back to the chart, and I will, of course, go to the bigger outlook chart of Bitcoin. And this is one of the charts I use just to plot and analyze stuff before actually going to the uh, MRI indicator and pro-indicators framework strategies. So uh, what I, re I was requested to show today was from, uh, let me just say the names of the people that actually requested this because they deserve to be mentioned, of course. And so this was the pattern that we are just about to see was requested by Javiera Carolina and she is from Chile and she is a very recent uh, follower of the channel but very, very active also on the Telegram group um, and on the live streams. Uh, I like her questions a lot. So this is one of the reasons I decided to just check this pattern, which I consider interesting. The other request for the on-chain analysis, of course, comes from, let me check here, on-chain. So it comes from Vitor Castro. Uh, he's one uh, of the followers also of the channel. He's on the Telegram group. And of course, that's one of the reasons why I am uh, addressing these requests. So if you want your requests, just before I go to this pattern, if you want your requests heard, uh, you have now on screen the URL to join the Telegram group. And you can, of course, discuss Bitcoin and other market stuff with all of us, including me. When I'm not sleeping or recording or live streaming, I will be, of course, paying attention to the Telegram group. So you can interact directly with me and make some requests for the videos. So don't forget, this is the URL you have to uh, use to join the Telegram group. And you will be very, very welcome there. Okay, so let's now check uh, what uh, Javiera Carolina said about this pattern. And she mentioned that we are having a very, very similar uh, price action structure as we had in September and uh, October of 2020. Uh, so she mentions that we had a double bottom here before continuing to the upside, actually very close to the breakout of this bull cycle that we see here. So let's let's go a bit more into the detail. So let me just move this a bit there so we can see it bigger. So I believe that what she was mentioning was this move here and then one bottom, two bottoms and then the continuation to the upside. But while I was analyzing this, I actually saw something even bigger than the, just that double bottom over there. So if you guys look at this, this is really interesting. I like to analyze patterns and I'm not saying that this is of course what's going to happen. It's pure speculation, but look at this area here. Let me just turn off the magnet here and look at this, what's inside this rectangle. Uh, let me just put it on the right place like this and now i'm going to draw the same rectangle which i believe the pattern is very very similar from here to here 
And now, guys, tell me if that doesn't look exactly the same pattern, but in a larger scale. So actually, it looks very, very interesting. And if we look at this here, and we see this Wyckoff accumulation style of top, and then the big drop, then we start to go up again. So this is the going up, then the Wyckoff distribution style of top. Then we have this big volatile move to the downside, which corresponds to this big drop here. Then we have accumulation. Then we have accumulation. Then we have a new leg up, which goes up here. And then we have another volatile move to the downside. Volatile move to the downside. Then we continue to go up. Another smaller drop, which is probably what Javier mentioned as the double bottom and then after that i consider that this is the point this is the point where the bull market really started going exponentially so going up exponentially so if you consider that this rectangle here could be uh, the same pattern as we are having right now in this bigger rectangle so we could probably be seeing this uh second drop, second volatile drop to the downside, which corresponds to this one here, really close to the edge of the rectangle, this big candle here going down. And then we had another, uh, another kind of bottom, so double bottom like this, and then the continuation of the bull cycle. So this is really interesting what Javier uh, pointed out. Actually, she was just mentioning the double bottom um, pattern here. But as I looked closer, then I saw this Wyckoff style, Wyckoff distribution style top before the big move down. And of course, I can see very, very big similarities with this bigger rectangle here. So that's a really interesting pattern that we could also consider, uh, probably, of course, in a larger scale, larger size. But if after this drop, we still have a retest, of the same levels around 43 to 42 thousand dollars and then look that we are really close to my trend line here which has been the trend line since the big drop of the covid announcement in march 2020 we are still above this trend line we have touched it here at the reversal of the price action around 28 thousand dollars level and then if we continue to retest these levels or even going sideways for some more accumulation we could probably be seeing another really close price action to the trend line and then continuation to the upside. So it's I'm not saying that this is going to happen. This is pure speculation, but it's really, really interesting to see how patterns replicate in Bitcoin and how we could be seeing this pattern being replicated here in a much larger scale, uh, also much larger price action, of course, because compared to this one, we were around $10,000. And right now we are around $46,000, dollars $45,000. But in any case, it was a very interesting pattern. So congratulations to Javier Carolina and for pointing this out. And it was a really interesting thing that I could address here today. So guys, just to sum it up, let's leave the charts for now. Let's go back here. And uh, let me just put everything in the right place again. So to summarize what I have seen today um, is Bitcoin is dropping down right now. It's being supported again at the previous levels that we saw before. So let me just uh, see those levels. Sorry for that. Let me just go back to the charts and let me see here the same levels that we were supported. So we found support on this drop here around the 45,000, and this is the same area where we are finding support right now. However, I believe that with this price structure, we are going to see lower levels. So again, just to sum it up, sorry for that interruption, I believe that we could see lower levels again, we could be in to retest the 43,000 or $42,000 level. However, that is a very, very strong support. So I believe that for now, at least for the shorter term, we are not going to see levels below the 42 or maybe 40 if we really go there in a very big volatile move. But the patterns and on-chain analysis tell us otherwise. And also the supply, uh, the supply shock that has been uh, being addressed by Willy Wu and Will Clemente also tell us that the shortage of coins in exchanges uh, are really moving the price up. 
the stock to flow model is also telling us that we are in for some more upside and the R hodl chart on the on-chain analysis the same thing and also this pattern very curious pattern discovered by Javiera also tell us that we could see but this one is a bit more speculation about the patterns that repeat themselves however I've seen that happen in the past so it was a really good speculation from Javiera and also very interesting one okay guys so for the last time let me just leave you guys here with the URL for the telegram group I hope you join us I hope you request some uh, topics that I should address in the videos and of course if you enjoyed this content of today gently touch the like button subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video or i start a live stream and of course let me just leave you guys with the usual wise words all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there exactly guys Let's roll and let's be really careful out there in the markets. And don't forget, tomorrow we have the live stream around 3 p.m. Portuguese time. Until then, I will see you there. Bye-bye.